So, the other day, <laughs> I, um, I heard about something called the cloud. And I tried it, it was great, actually. Um, it was, uh, it has many advantages. Um, I mean, I don't, I didn't have to store any, um, any data at home. I didn't have to rent any, any movies, you know. They were streaming all around. And um, actually, um, all my devices were synchronized without doing anything. I mean, uh, God bless Google. But I um, quickly saw some limitations. Actually, where for every single website, I had to create an account. And um, many times, there were um, some um, space limitations. And uh, I don't know, but I, I heard about some security or privacy problems, but uh, I have to tell you something. I, um, I don't read the uh, terms of services. So he didn't. <laughs> I also um, heard about something called self-hosting. And um, actually, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, there were like um, many, many applications available. I mean, federated applications. And um, I, um, I had for every single usage I had in the cloud, I. I had an application that do the job in my own server. I mean, free software. So I thought this was, this was really good. And uh, the first problem I, I saw was that uh, my mom can't install them. Unless it's, uh, uh, even if it's, it's uh, such great apps, I mean, I used Roundcube uh, instead of Gmail. I used uh, OwnCloud, but I didn't have to store anything on Dropbox or Mega. But yeah, you know, my mom don't, don't do that kind of thing, installing applications on, on, uh, in on her own server. So that was a problem. And the point is that we wanted to fill the gap between uh, use, uh, the usage of that uh, kind of applications and uh, the technicity to install them. And we wanted to make a simple solution to um, to do that, so what what do we actually need? What do we want for that kind of solution? We want some some one stable, reliable, and easy to install operating system. Actually. Um, Maybe uh, some kind of Debian thing, you know? Um, we want also uh, nice to have services. And when I say that, it's more uh, must have services that all, um, that um, everyone wants, like mail, a Java server, a web server, basic services. We also want, and that's not an option, secure protocols, 
in order to, well, I won't, uh, I won't tell uh, much about security, but uh, we want secure protocols. And uh, we want a firewall gestion to open ports and close some. <clears throat> we want um, a multi-user, multi-domain, um, an advanced mage gestion, because we want to create accounts on um, on our server for, for instance, my brother. Um, and I want to have multiple domain names, so I want to have multiple emails, and we want some kind of uh, configuration management. With uh, a user-friendly interface, because I don't want to uh, just, um, I mean, administrate LDAP manually or something uh, like that. And we want a simple way to, uh, for developer to adapt applications to our solution and a simple way to users, uh, for users to install applications, that applications and that new services potentially. We also want, we, it would be nice to have some kind of single sign-on in order, to, in order to have one account for all applications, actually. And um, it would be cool to have a common line interface, you know. What? Yeah, for my brother. <laughs> so... It's kind of quick, actually. <laughs> Almost done. Um, okay, so let's admit that we already have all that because free, there are free softwares that already did the job, do the job, actually. And let's admit we have all that. In that case, I ask you, guys, why not hosting yourself? I mean, why well, you know host? Yeah, that comes from here. And uh, we have such great services, such great applications, which I don't list. Yeah. And um, we, already, we already have the, the possibility create that platform. And the good thing is, we did. And um, we released uh, a first version with that um, services in um, la last summer, actually. And the good, the good news is that um, we will release a second version in uh, like a um, few weeks and uh, we need your help for that so I uh, I'm quite done I uh, actually um, if you have uh, I mean technical questions you can ask it right now because I don't I didn't want it to uh, just uh, be uh, long in the technical explanations, but if you have questions about the solution, which is uh, why well, you know host, actually, you can ask them right now. So, yeah, I'm done. That's it. So do you show the demo? Show the demo. Mm. I can, I can, I can, I can. I hope you won't hack my server, but... <laughs> Um, Just make sure to spell your password loud and clear. Yeah, of course. Of course I will. So.
So, um, I will show you some kind of, uh, yeah, I will show you the administration panel first, and then No, this is the applications, but um, okay, it's uh, like eight hundred, uh, yeah, eight hundred uh, by six, uh, so it's uh, it will be a bit weird, I guess. So we have, um, yeah, this is the application side, which will be uh, a bit uh, a bit nicer in the second version. Um, <laughs> Quoi je me plains? So um, we have a round cube for the web mail, and I will show you later how to install it. We have tiny, tiny RSS. <laughs> yeah, don't read my mail, please. <laughs> Actually, I don't have. Um, I don't have. Um, yeah, test test account. I should. Well, my RSS isn't. Uh, I mean, bonjour, madame is uh, quite. Uh, you know. <laughs> and on cloud. Well, do I have internet? Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> There's such great things in that server. Okay, so this is basically the uh, application panel, um, and uh, I will show you the admin site. <laughs> yep, that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is basically the admin panel, um, which uh, check uh, system upgrade. Yo, my, my DNS configuration is bad, okay. Uh, in, yeah. So that, that is basically the iPad version because of the width. Um, <laughs> so you can manage users, you can manage uh, you know, users, I can see. We have uh, mail aliases, change password, of course. Yep. We have a dumb ingestion, which is basically, you know, really simple. Oops. We have. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't show you um, <laughs> that much uh, domains, but we have an application system, which is yeah. You know, we have uh, like five applications right now, but in the second version, we plan to have um, a much, uh, a much more reliable uh, application system. So we plan to have plenty more applications. And uh, actually, if, so if I want to just uh, install JAPEX, for example, it's uh, like one click uninstall, that's great, <laughs> and one click install. So, the second version is based on uh, Debian Witsi. I, uh, Ten, ten minutes left. Ten minutes. Okay. Well, I will take the f the, the, the the this is the next question actually. If uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, it was the slide. Yeah. Um, what was the software ar uh, architecture of uh, where you know host? Um, it was the slide. Uh, Okay. Was this this slide? Actually, we use um, in the second version and uh, in the first, of course. Uh, we use um, 
Apache, MySQL, and of course PHP, uh, PHP Ruby for the for the applic uh, web applications. Um, we use uh, LDAP, Open LDAP, as a backend for users. Lemon LDAP as a, as an, um, a single sign-on uh, based on LDAP um, that uh, authenticates uh, web applications. We have uh, Postfix, Dovecot, and uh, an antivirus, um, yeah, for the mail. EJBLD for the, the Java server. Bind for the domain names. Fade to ban uh, with the firewall gestion and UPnP also for the firewall uh, auto uh, open uh, ports and all, uh, yeah, and closed. Does that answer your question? Okay. Any other questions? Maybe I can ask one. Uh, yeah. What's the difference uh, with the stock Debian installation where you apt-get install all of this? What have you done? You developed a, a web interface uh, um, from the yeah. installation point of view. What did you I, add? Yeah, actually we add uh, two things. The first is that we have um, a, a post-installation script that configure that um, yeah that install uh, with Debian dependencies uh, all their services and configure it in um, around LDAP actually. So um, postfix yeah for what uh, all all the all the services are configured around open LDAP. Um, and that's that's why uh, one account. Uh, when I when I make the account Alexi, uh, with one password, I have uh, all my services uh, up and running with um, my login Alexi uh, at my domain dot org, and um, and it's the same thing for the web application accounts. So we did uh, to answer your question, we did this script of uh, post installation and uh, a kind of a sexy interface in order to, to manage all that easily. Could I possibly convert an existing Debian installation to a Unihost? An, an existing Debian installation? You could. It's um, uh, well, <laughs> a tip is um, is to install uh, or inst to install the script. There is a script for Debian, uh, uh, Debian uh, existing systems. But uh, if you have any of this service already configured, it will uh, it will erase the, the, the configuration. So, yeah. But uh, it it is possible. Right now, the first version is on sc on squeeze, and the next one. In a few weeks, we'll be on um, on uh, Witsy. I don't um, see, but we ah, are yeah, that answers my second question. Where can I get it? <laughs> yeah, of okay. course, it's uh, on uh, where you know host dot org, of course. And uh, if you want to, um, well, if you have questions, if you want to contribute, we have many ways to contribute. You you can uh, just translate. You can test, you can uh, develop, of course. Uh, you can donate, uh, but it's uh, all on whynodes.org, and uh, we are really active uh, on this channel. It's a Jabba cha channel, a Jabba chat room. So um, if you want to come on. Okay, but the question I wanted to ask first, yeah. uh, is this uh, targeted as a home server, or can I install it on a vServer or root server in a cloud? Somewhere? Both, both. I mean, uh, you can install it on a um, server renter. So, so some, uh, if you if you have a server uh, rented in, uh, I mean, OVH or some, uh, I, I don't know any <laughs> any uh, server renter. But uh, um, if you have, if you already have a server that is not at your uh, home, you can uh, you can uh, install it easily. Uh, but um, it also uh, provides a solution for for own server 
from the for, for a home server, sorry. They both are possible uh, because it's based on, on Debian. But of course, uh, if you, there's, uh, there's a lot of different problems to consider when you want to uh, install a server at home. Uh, yeah, you have to, uh, well, I don't, uh, I don't enter into details, but uh, you have to, to have a good internet supplier and so on. Yeah, in PNP, uh, you have, uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, it is, it is, but uh, actually we uh, already uh, tra translate it in French and uh, English. And uh, yeah, but uh, it could be possible to translate it in Brazilian or something. And it's also backup. What? Sorry. Backup. What about backup? Ah, what about backups? Um, we plan in uh, the second version only uh, to have um, a kind of, yeah, a kind of uh, way of backup. Uh, this is not the case in first version, and that's a, a, a really, yeah, that's an issue actually. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we plan to, to to have one in uh, the second version. Um, it's, it's it will be like a network and local backup first first of all, and. Uh, um, what's the process to package or install new apps? Oh, um, so in the first version is quite complicated because you have to make packages, Debian packages. Uh, in the second one, we base we we will base. Uh, the application system on Git. So if you have any web applications existing, you will just have to fill a manifest, which will be, uh, which will be a manifest like um, Firefox OS uh, web app manifest, this uh, kind of stuff like that. And you will have to uh, script your installation um, for example, uh, to initialize the MySQL, uh, MySQL uh, database or something uh, like that, and uh, that will be all. We want, uh, we really want the the application packaging to be easy, uh, because um, uh, we we will have uh, some kind of an application portal in order to to list all that, and uh, yeah, we want some uh, some. We want the, the application, the web application developers, to um, to do that, to do that job, because in the first version we uh, packaged JPEX on cloud, and on cloud is uh, still in, uh, I mean, four version, because we didn't have, uh, have the time to upgrade. So for the f for the next release, we we want, uh, I mean, on cloud developers or on cloud fans to package this for for everyone in Wayanus. The, the next talk is in five minutes, so I think uh, we'll stop here. If there are any yeah. more questions. If you have any more questions. Thank you. Thank you.